I-105, Knoxville's independent radio. Welcome to Rick's Music Room. I've got Bob Wayne and friends. If you want to introduce everybody, first things first, that'd be nice. Uh, well, I'm Bob Wayne. This is uh, Liz on, on the fiddle. Liz on the fiddle. And uh, we got uh, Jared McGovern on the bass. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Welcome to Knoxville. Usually when we have people in here, there's a show in town. There's not a show tonight, people, but we're going to get you um, thirsty for when there is going to be a show in Knoxville, yes. right? That's right. All right. Why don't you go ahead and play us a tune? Let, let them know what they're um, going to get to hear. Well, uh, let's see here. This is one off the new record. It's called Everything's Legal in Alabama. All right. It goes like that. If you're wondering, uh, well, I'll just do it like that. Okay. Cause everything's in Alabama. 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 Well, everything's in Alabama. Well, I race up hell in Louisiana. Damn near frozen Texas. We got so messed up in North Dakota. Didn't go to hell, Oklahoma. Did a little time in Salt Lake Slam, but just wish I could back to Alabama. Knoxville's independent radio. You had me until the end. Oh, there's the catch 22. At least three people just got in their car, though, and probably headed toward Alabama. <laughs> so, you mentioned that's on your new album. This is your first like record label release, right? Yeah, Outlaw first, Carney? First official release. I really respect the old, the old Nashville. Anyway, yeah, like I definitely. said. Definitely. How can you not? I it, mean, yeah. Jimmy Martin, Johnny Cash. Legends. You know what I mean? All those Waylon. Mm -hmm. How can you not? Definitely. Won't you do another one for us? All right. Here, we'll do one. Uh, this one's called Ghost Town. Two, three, four. <laughs> It was a ghost town down by the river. Yeah, just about 20 miles past county line. I don't remember exactly how we got there. I ain't never gonna forget the day that ghost town tried. We pulled up to a filling station. Yeah, right next door was a hotel and saloon. Let's get crazy, I said to the boys then. Yeah, we pulled out our guns, started shooting at the moon. We got lost in North Dakota You know me, I wouldn't lie Yeah, that ghost town tried to kill me You ain't gonna believe we saved our lives Hell, I don't even believe we saved our lives I started gambling, I caught a 
cheater. Yeah, I pulled out my gun, shot him right between the eyes. He didn't fall down, hell, he didn't even start bleeding. Well, that's not noticed, there was something definitely wrong. All the barmaids had turned to demons, and the whiskey in my glass turned as cold as eyes. I started praying. seem kind of crazy I swear my pappy's grave it's the truth we were surrounded in that little prairie yeah when the sky turned an awful wicked blue there were noises kind of like a train wreck I couldn't help but think this day would be my last well then the clouds well they all started changing and out from them came the ghost of Johnny Cash we got lost That was awesome. Cool. So, you, do you do all the writing yourself for these true stories, yeah. or yeah, that's a true ish. story. Um, Johnny Cash saved your life. I'm does pretty, exist, pretty curious folks. about that. <laughs> this is a story about my uh, John Deere motorhome actually broke down. The brakes went out completely, and I almost actually ran into a bank. Oh, it's kind dear. of a funny story. But <laughs> we stopped like inches before the door, the front doors of the bank. The brakes were on fire. It was like I was like standing on them trying to stop. And uh, anyways, we broke down, and uh, I was stuck for about two weeks getting those fixed, and uh, I ended up writing this song down by a campfire, waiting, waiting to get back on the road. It's called Estacada. Okay.
Y105, Knoxville's independent radio. Bob Wayne here in Rick's music room. Uh, that was a pleasure. I All really right, enjoyed cool. that. Um, I looked at your tour dates. It looks like you're getting ready to head out on another pretty big stretch of road. Yeah, we just did We just did five months straight on the road, uh -huh. full U.S. tour. And then we went to Europe for three months. Now we just got back like two weeks ago, and then we're heading to... Uh, um, a full U.S. tour, I think mainly the West Coast and then some of the Midwest. And then uh, I'm going to South America for a couple weeks. Wow. And then it's uh, back to Europe for some other, I don't know, the Czech Republic or something has a <laughs> festival they want us to play at. And then, well, yeah. And Spain and stuff like that. That's so we're really doing cool. a lot of world tours and stuff. And, well,